making me so mad. Well, hey everybody, Jeff Williams here and Sam. So what are we doing today? Today we're gonna be melting up some gold and make a button. We're gonna talk about fluxes real quick. They're either going to oxidize or they're gonna reduce. Flux that we're gonna be working with, Chapman Flux, is gonna be doing oxidation. Getting all the base metals and all the junk out of your gold and into the slag. Now you can either use map gas or acetylene, but I wanna show you how you can use propane. Now when you get the kit, you usually get two graphite crucibles. You get a little tiny mold to pour your gold or silver in and you get a fair time. Oh, look at that. This is a, a standard kind of flux. Now, before I get too far into this, I just want to say a big cowboy howdy out to all of our new patrons. This time, it's legal. All right, longer. Let's do it. Okay, we got Jordan Davis, Robert Davis, Lee Fetter, A. Smart, and we got Garrett. So we're going to give him a big cowboy howdy. Yeehaw! <laughs> We're gonna be using Chapman Flux today. I recommend that you use a thinner. It'll make it pour so much easier. Now they make all different types of crucibles out there. They got ceramic, graphite, clay, silicon. But today we're gonna be using a full graphite. All right, let's see what we got here. About a gram and a half. Woo, let's see what happens when we melt it. When you're working with Chapman Flux, you do about a one to one ratio based on volume. That's a little bit more, but that's okay. You need to pour that in like a cup. There you go. Shake it all around. You put your flux in in. You take your purities out. You put your gold in the butt. Then you shake it all about. That's what it's all about. All right, then you pour it in. Drum roll, please. Now remember, you're gonna be working with some high temperatures here. So don't forget your safety gloves and your mask. I, my eyes burn, the goggles do nothing. Mmm, smells like baked beans in there. Now whenever you're doing any smelting, I recommend using a comb mold. Now we're using graphite. If you use cast iron, heat it up first or you'll get thermal shock. Isn't that the prettiest little gold button you ever saw? Woo-hoo! Let's weigh it up. So we lost a 0.5 in the melt, which doesn't surprise me because I had a bunch of impurities in there. There's a new flux that came out where you can work with sulfide and you don't gotta roast them first. And you put in four number eight penny nails in there so that the sulfur will be attracted to the iron. This is only gonna work when you've got about 70% gold in your black sand. You only got 20 to 50% gold and whatever it is that you're smelting, you gotta use a collector metal. Collector metals can be lead or lithridge or copper. I wonder what we're gonna do with this gold. Hey Slim, what are we gonna do with this gold button? Why don't you give them to your premium patron subscribers? Huh? What? Oh yeah, that's a good idea. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have a drawing next week. So that gives you guys plenty of time out there to become a premium patron subscriber. Oh. <laughs> so whatever lucky name we pull out of Slim's hat is gonna get this one grammar. Now you might ask yourself, Jeff, why would I want to smelt my gold? Well, it's a lot easier to send it to a refinery because you know exactly what you got. You get rid of a lot of your base metals and all of the junk that's in your gold. So until next time, this is Jeff Williams and... Slam! <laughs> that's right. With that, JeffWilliams.com. Saying you want to smelt your gold, but you're not exactly sure how? Well, just watch all my videos and you'll learn exactly how. Take care, everybody.